the rap. LDWMMAC, you guys know the routine. Skip the background noise. Let's just get right into it. Okay, folks. Um, you know, salute to my homie Combo Breaking 99, man. Salute to the homie Combo. Uh, I did watch his video, and I was inspired by his video on the same topic. Um, it's a good channel, man. I love Combo Breaking 99's channel. I don't get to participate in his live streams like I want to because of my work schedules, but I'm always there. You know, I have it on, and I'm listening. Um, he's probably got the best MMA channel on YouTube, and I really do hate that YouTube, they're suppressing his views. Um, you know, he's very professional, and I just, I, overall, I like you know his channel man so I you know guys you know try to share some more of his videos a salute to Jason Rose and uh, even you know Robert Henry you know they they go on Facebook and they share a lot of videos man so salute to them guys um, and let's get right into it okay guys I, I, I've been telling y'all about Carl Esparza for a long time guys I've been telling y'all and I've told y'all in live streams and live stream you know why Carl Esparza isn't getting this title shot. You see, years ago, years ago, before, you know, my channel really wasn't even, it wasn't even, gosh, I think I was at about maybe 1,500 subs. And I had uh, reached out to Team Esparza, and I said, hey, you know, come help with us. You know, we want to talk to you. You know, I want to get the uh, the WMA universe to, to, to get behind you, to do what we got to do. You know, I, I want to do it. And, um, you know, of course, they pretty much denied that. You know, Brian Butler uh, pretty much denied it, just said no. You know, uh, we, we're not going to interview with you. He wouldn't give me a reason, so I went on to tell Brian Butler, uh, listen, it's not like, you know, people are lining up to interview Carlos Barza. And I'm saying, really, casual fans and underground fans, you know, the casual fans don't even know who the hell she is. The, the hardcore fans, we know who she is. But it's not like she's, you know, like popular. It's not like she was a Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg. It wasn't like she was one of those like big name fighters. I mean, it's Carla Sparza. And, and I knew then, like I know now, that Carla Sparza, the problem is you neglected. You neglected the underground media. You can't do that. Every single big name fighter, every single one in WMMA, they have come through the underground media to get exposure. And see, when the underground media, and see, it not, not just my channel, there are lots of channels, lots of channels in the underground media. Okay, we got several channels in the WMMA universe, but you know there are other small channels in the underground that we get hundreds of views a day, sometimes thousands, and collectively, you gotta think the underground media, all of us together, we're probably getting tens of thousands of views every day. So you gotta let that you gotta let that sink in, okay? If your math is good, if your math is really really good, then you'll understand where I'm going with this. Tens of thousands of views every day in the w, in, in just the underground MMA universe. The WMMA universe, we probably get maybe four or five thousand a day, probably. Okay, so when you start really adding up all that and counting the math, that's a lot of views. That's a lot of video views. And then even if you think, hey, maybe even twenty percent of those people from the underground, you know, go buy pay-per-view or go, you know, like, follow you. Guess what? You're a star. It didn't take people like Chris Cyborg a long time to figure that out. It didn't take people like Valentina Shevchenko a long time to figure it out. You see, Chris Cyborg and Valentina, they've interviewed with a lot of media. I'm talking about underground media. Okay, they, they, they've been hitting the pavement, trying to get notoriety. See, y'all don't know Valentina been doing it for years. Valentina been talking to underground media for, for over 10 years. People don't know that. Chris Cyborg been talking to underground media outlets for years because they know that underground media outlets, underground media outlets, they don't look at us as, oh, okay, y'all are YouTubers. They don't look at it like that. They're like, oh, okay, this is a chance for me to get some fans that I can't reach. They've been doing it for years and years and years. Well, you can, you can kind of see now that all the hardcore underground fans, we roll with them heavy. We roll with them heavy. We rock with them heavy. So now you come get Carlos Sparza. He, Carlos Sparza, I mean, who are you? Roxanne Monteferry, who are you? Who are you? 
Because these people, they turn down interviews. They, they turn them down. When people are out white, you know, we're trying to get behind them. We're trying to support them. You know, we're going to put our dollars behind you. Okay, we've done that over here. We, we invest in fighters over here. And I'll say over here in the WMMA universe, I'll say here we've probably invested thousands of dollars in fighters. I can tell you right now we have. Okay? Thousands of dollars we've invested in fighters. So, so now when you come to our platform, okay, we, we invest in you. We put our money behind you. And we put our support behind you. We do it all over here. And you don't want to come and come F with some of us. Like, you, you don't want to rock with us like that. It's stupid. It's stupid. I'm talking about, man, this has been a pattern with them. You know, Tatiana Suarez, you know, rock with the underground media. Tatiana Suarez will talk to any underground media. Maureen Ray, no. <laughs> Denise Kilhose. They rock with the underground media. And, and guys, you have to wonder why their popularity, why they make, they make good money. They made good money. Even Maureen Raynaud made pretty decent money when she was in the UFC. <laughs> Maureen Raynaud made a bag. Thing of it is, though, they have the following. See, what people like Carla don't understand is dollars and cents. It's dollars and cents. Okay, it's dollars and cents. The more people you have behind you, the more people that are going to pay to see you. Okay, or the more people that are going to flood these pay-per-views. I mean, I don't understand what these people think that the money, you know, has to come from somewhere. Got to come from somewhere. Carla Spars is a victim of popularity. <laughs> like, seriously. And, you know, Dana White, honestly, he's not very thrilled about giving her a title shot. She'll probably end up eventually getting the title shot, but it's going to be a long time before she get it. Okay, Dana White trying to make her fight other people. That ought to tell you that he really don't want to give you a title shot because Carlos Esparza can't sell. And, you know, you want to fight somebody like, you know, Rose Namajunas. Rose Namajunas is popular. Rose is popular, but you know why? <laughs> Rose is popular. She's very popular. Carlos Esparza isn't very popular. She's not. And it's not like she's the most exciting person. Okay, she's not. Carlos Esparza isn't the most exciting person. You know, she's a good fighter. She fights well. But that's just about it. It's, 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 it's money. It's a business decision by Dana White. Think about it. What's going to make more money? I mean, what, what, what do y'all think? Who, who are people going to watch more? Do you think we're going to watch Rose Namajunas versus Carlos Esparza? Or do you think we want to see Jean Willet get knocked out again? Which one? I, I can tell you now. I can speak for the majority of the WMMA universe. And I can tell you, we want to see Jean Willet get knocked out again. Okay? Because we want to see if that's a fluke. You see, there, there's a storyline behind it. Jean Valet made all these excuses, uh, blah, 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 blah. There, there's a storyline behind it. The storyline is real. The storyline is 100% real. Don't nobody care about what happened seven damn years ago. Don't nobody, but see, had Carlos Barza rock with, rock with your underground fans, man, we'd have been making videos every day. We'd have been making Carlos Barza videos every darn day. And we'd have been helping promote, like, like we did Chris Cyborg, like we did Valentina Shevchenko, like we did Tatiana Suarez, like we did Marin Reno, like, 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 um, like we did Denise Kilhose. <laughs> Do y'all know how many videos we pushed? How many videos? And collectively, we're powerful. See, if it's just me, nah, there's no power. Me, Combo, BJ, Robert Henry, okay, a Sports Princess. And there are many other people that rock with it. It was a dude that do videos, and I'm sitting here like, huh? Yeah, man, I rock with you in the LDBC, and I started talking to MMA. He just started, you know, like, getting that, man. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. So, see, and then you got people we don't even know sharing the videos. See, this, this is where these fighters, they make the mistake. It's a business decision. Dana White ain't going to have no damn Carlos Sparza on a main event. Who the hell going to watch? I mean, the fight's not even, it's not a fight that's intriguing. It, 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 it's not a fight that's going to captivate the audience. It's not that kind of fight. It's a fight of, oh, okay, well, Carlos Esparza beat her seven years ago to get the belt. And blah, 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 blah. No, nobody, man. No, nobody cares about Carlos Esparza. Okay, call it. Nobody knows who you are. Hey, I bet you wish you would have done some of those interviews. And it wasn't just me that they turned down. They turned down several people in the underground that was trying to get these interviews, that was trying to get behind Carla's boss. We tried to. We tried to get behind Carla four years ago, we tried to. We tried hard to rock with Carla's boss, but you know what? Is it, got dumb managers.
They just collect that 10%. They take the 10%. See, Carlos Sparza, I, I even had a manager tell me this. Not Roger, okay? I had a manager point blank tell me. He said, you know, Coach, I got my main stars, okay? I got my main stars, and, you know, those are the ones that I make the most money from. And then, you know, these other people, you know, I'll put them on these little, you know, uh, sign and autograph tours, and I'll get them doing certain things. But I don't make a lot of money on these people, so I just collect that 10%. I had a manager tell me this. I just collect that 10%. I, I just collect, oh, you know, whatever my, my cut is. I just collect my cut. Okay, he ain't necessarily say 10% because it varies from manager to manager. But he said, I just collect my 10% on certain fighters because they're not popular. They just need somebody to represent them, somebody to help them with the contract negotiations, and that's, that's about it. And, you know, you have to laugh because that is the mentality because managers – they deal with so many damn fighters. They deal with so many fighters that the little fighters on the edge, like Carl Esparza, <laughs> they, they kind of get shafted in a way. They kind of get shafted. I mean, can y'all tell me why she's not getting a title shot? I mean, <laughs> seems like she would deserve it, right? Five fight win streak. Why y'all think she ain't getting a title shot? And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what else. If Why do y'all think they want her to fight but they're letting Bojangle check not fight Marina Rodriguez. Let, let's think about it real carefully, y'all. Okay? They don't want Bojo. They don't want Bojangle check old goofy looking. They, they, they don't want her to fight Marina Rodriguez. They're going to let Bojo sit out. But they're telling Carl Esparza, Dana saying, this ain't a good idea. You need to stay active. <laughs> but Carla Esparza and Brian Butler, they, they, you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. See, when you were sitting back having to sell stuff to make ends meet, this is when you should have been talking to us. <laughs> Y'all remember? Carla Sparza was trying to sell stuff because she couldn't even afford to pay her bills, couldn't even afford to pay for camp. Folks, you see what I mean? You see where fighters, many fighters, they don't understand business, and they shouldn't because they're fighters. They don't get it. It's like some fighters still thinking they're in that blood and guts mentality. They're in the blood and guts mentality. See, they got this blood and gut mentality where I'm going to, I just fight. I let my manager do all this. Okay, well then that's what happens. This is what happens when you let your manager do it all. This is what happens when you let your manager do it all and you don't even advocate for your own self. You're not smart enough to do it. So guess what happens? <laughs> you don't get the title shot. You don't get the title shot. They was throwing Carlos Paul's name around you know, they were throwing her name around. But, you know, man, come on. Dana looked at him like, man, look, we ain't going to make no money on this. I mean, honestly, why y'all think Amanda Nunes, the champion that she is? But let's be honest, okay? Amanda Nunes does not do well on pay-per-view. It's already been proven time and time again. She don't do well on pay-per-view. Why? Because Amanda Nunes sucks in the promotional part. She sucks at it. She's not very good at it at all. Amanda Nunes did not work the underground fans. But some of these fighters, though, see, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to either eventually, they're going to have to work the underground fans, or they just, they, it's going to take them a long time to get to where they got to get to. I hate it when fighters say the fans don't control anything. Yeah, we do. Because, see, we ain't got to pay the money. See, we ain't got to get, you know what? And, and, and our fans, our tens of thousands of fans in the underground media, that's a lot of money, okay? When you think tens of thousands of fans, okay, that, that's going to purchase or buy an event that you're a part of, that's a lot. In WMMA uh, language, that, that's a whole lot. And, and probably more, I'm just being modest when I say tens of thousands, okay? Probably even hundreds of thousands of underground people that look at underground video. Folks, it's not that hard. It's not rocket science. But, but, but you have fighters like Carla, they make it so difficult. They make it, they make this, you know, they make it a chore. When all you got to do is be personable. All you got to do is have your manager look, yes, put me in touch with that dude. Yeah, I want to talk to him. Look, let's, let's go on the show for 45 minutes or 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Let's give these people 20 minutes because they'll get behind, that they'll get behind, they'll make videos, they'll support you. I mean, could you imagine, man, could you imagine? Could you imagine if Valentino or Chris Cyborg never, ever rocked with us? Could you imagine? Now, I'm not saying that they wouldn't be successful. Of course they would. But see, do you think that their star power would be higher than what it is? 
you see, Valentina, they're not like true. They're, they're, they're becoming household names. But casual fans still, a lot of them don't know who that is. But all the underground hardcore fans, guess what? We, oh, we know Valentina. We know Chris Cyborg. We know Chris Cyborg. Who do you think support these fighters? It's the, it's the damn underground fans. It's the underground hardcore fans. We support these folks because they support us. They rock with us. They rock with us. That's what it's supposed to be. See, Carlos Sparza name figured it out. And see, too, you got to understand, you got to know that she probably, they're not that great with finances because, guys, if you have to go through and if you have to start auctioning stuff out to pay bills, you're not good. There, 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 there's a disconnect there. Okay? Carlos Sparza is, she's a victim of not being popular enough. And you know what? She ain't got nobody to blame but herself. See, Dana White, that, that, Dana White a businessman. That's a businessman. Okay, Dana White is a businessman. He ain't trying to, he ain't trying to hear that, you know, well, you know, I'm gonna give you a fight because, you know, um, I, I like you and you you this, you that. He ain't trying to hear all that, man. This man about, look, <laughs> we gotta break, we gotta get above even, okay? We gotta make money. And you can't make it. We call Esparza. Just what it is.